We share the days of laughter. We share the nights of sorrow. And in the morning after. We... Hi, I'm Kara Marl. And I'm Yvonne Nguyen. We're co-producers of the 1993 Senior Video Yearbook. Sorrow. Don't you forget about the class of 93. The purpose of this video will not only allow you to look back at our years at Sargent finally, but also for you to remember what made this senior class so distinctive. Uh, class of 93, we are not like any class that has graduated from Sargent before. We are unique in a sense that we have been here for four memorable years rather than three. We were the first freshmen to call Sargent home. We've seen good times and bad times that have made us the strong and united class that we are. Around us, the world was changing and we were changing with it. 1989, the Berlin Wall came crashing down. We, as freshmen, saw history changing for us to start off the new decade with global freedom, opportunities, and hope. As sophomores, we witnessed the beginning and end of the Persian Gulf War, and we were inspired by the patriotism shown by Americans in support of our troops. Students and Americans all over wore yellow ribbons and enthusiastically welcomed our brave soldiers home. Our junior year brought tragedy and hardship to many of us when we lost one of our own. Bill Vanderbeek, who died in a tragic car accident on January 10, 1992, was a dear friend to many of us and a classmate to others. His life will always be remembered and cherished by those who knew him. Through his death, many of us were brought even closer together and emotionally strengthened. These global and local events have carried us into a senior year, but we saw a national revolution through an election of a new Democratic president, Bill Clinton, ending the 12-year Republican reign. During our senior year, we also experienced controversy with outcome-based education, which will eventually change how public schools will be structured. Sit back, relax, and let us guide you down memory lane. And for us, to never let you forget about the class of 93.
The journey has begun. We're venturing out in that scary place known as the real world. What we can and will do from now on will totally be up to us. We have our whole lives ahead of us. There will be so many different choices and decisions to make. All of us have the power to make a difference. Let's try to make this world a better place for all of us. Don't let society tell you what you can and cannot do. You can do or be anything you want. A wise woman once told me, you can never feel as helpless as the owner of a sick goldfish. Well, don't become a sick goldfish because in the real world there aren't goldfish doctors.
Marilyn Monroe. I want to be Garth Tree. Janice Joplin, because she's really cool. Saddam Hussein. Sidney okay. Crawford. <laughs> Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> Joey Ramon. I would dress up as a person I think is going to be the future world leader. Uh, no doubt about it. Billy D. Williams. Works every time. Let me chef. Well, if I wanted to be scary, I'd dress up like a lunch lady. Jerry Garcia. So? Um, Bob Weir. Hey, nice black guy. Nelson Mandela. Okay, thanks. Dolly Parton. I think probably Mr. Chubb because I've, I've always felt that, that he had the answers to all the questions. He is my philosophical, social, and, and political guru. Pick Christy Brinkley. It would be Peter Mayhew. Don Johnson. I would be Gandhi. It would be Indira Gandhi. I'm really into dressing up as I want to be Bill Moffat so I can drive a big mouth. <laughs> I have no idea. I would dress up as Bill Clinton because everybody likes him. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev. Michael Jackson. Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife. Tim Allen. I'd be Marilyn Monroe. How about Eleanor Roosevelt? Well, Allison. I'd probably dress up as Madonna because I've got the perfect body for it. Woo! I would have to say the hetman of the Ukraine. I would have to be the president so I can enforce peace. Well, I think it would be Marilyn Monroe because she's so beautiful. Well, I guess it would have to be Cousin It because I've got the hair for it.
Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye to the senior class. Um, my first class here at Saturnaria High School. I, for the most part, enjoyed my experiences with you. There were individuals with whom maybe we didn't always agree from time to time, but um, you were a pleasure to deal with. Uh, I will have a lot of fond memories of my first class here at Satterton. Um, the all-nighter that lasted for four weeks comes to mind uh, with the Molly Ringwald Festival. Uh, a lot of great athletic moments over the last three years involving a number of members of this class. Um, the proms were well done. Um, I very much enjoyed the senior trip this year. Um, we, we managed to see Florida, all of Florida, I think, in four days on six hours of sleep. And uh, it was quite a trek for everybody. Your behavior, your cooperation was immaculate, um, with one small exception. We won't get into that. Um, I, I enjoyed myself. I, I wish you all well in the future. I wish you success. I wish you happiness. I wish you health. And I wish you wealth. And five or six years from now, when you're driving down the street, and your cars are bigger and newer than mine, I hope you don't rub it in. Good luck and come back.
think you think you think you do. What can I do for you? I don't think so. What can you do for me in the worldwide wrestling life? Greetings from the jungle. As senior moderator, I would just like to thank all of you who helped make this year a fun, successful, and memorable one. And I would also like to extend my best wishes to you in the future.
to the members of the class of 1993, I say congratulations, good fortune, and remember the immortal words of the great George Lehman. The highway to success is always under construction. You finished part of that highway with your graduation from Souderton High School. There remains a large portion of that highway to be built, and I hope it is built as well as the past four years have been for you. Good luck to one and all. Thank you. Studying psychology with Pam Linquist outside the lunchroom. <laughs> Senior class trip. I had a great time with all my friends. Yeah, it was probably Vermont. Our own little senior trip. Watching Vinny and Mrs. Bub. That was a good one. The school play was a good time. Volleyball seasons were a good time. It's being with all my friends and being in school and having fun. <laughs>
me and Jen and Tamika were running track, and she, Tamika told me and Jen to hold her apple pie, and Tamika was really, really hungry, but so was I. So I was like, Jen, come on, let's eat it. And Jen's like, no. I'm like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. And so we ate Tamika's apple pie. Thing was meeting my best friend. <laughs> it's got to be school lunches. Uh, Mr. Swain's math class. Uh, game against Plymouth White Marsh. Senior trip. Tuan standing in the fountain at Disney World. In high school was when Jefferson and Sandy walked out by the pool in the senior trip in my speedo. Going to Florida for a senior trip. This memorable moment in high school is. Thank He's you. on the senior trip, strolling out onto the pool deck with wingtips, socks pulled up to my knees, a sheriff hat, and an American flag speedo, and then listening to the rumbling and bumbling of Mr. Slingsby coming after me. Just to be my friends and come to this great school. I feel, uh, I appreciate to study over here, and if I go back to my country, I think I will miss them. So the senior prom, which hasn't even happened yet, but I know I'm going to enjoy it. Um, AV, definitely AV, being in AV, being on the morning show. Um, volleyball, and going out in my senior year, and the senior trip. Skipping lunch in study hall and trying to make it back with nobody seeing me. The art class and all the fun times. This one time Jeremiah was spinning around in the wheel and he flew back. And he hit his head, and we were like laughing for hours after that. So, Prom last year. Uh, I think mine was sitting in the library every day doing nothing. It was the senior trip. Walking down the aisle for graduation. Volleyball this year because it was my last year. I'm gonna miss everybody, and I went my AP US history class where I shed blood, sweat, and tears, and worked so hard. I love that class. <laughs> Weeks when I graduate. The senior class trip to Orlando, Florida where it was a true test of all our endurance. I batteries down in Florida during the senior trip for $1.35 each. I survived accounting. The frolics and the proms. I have the best time. I love getting dressed up and being with my friends. <laughs> our hockey team went to districts for the first time in like six years. Last year at the winter frolic when Mike asked me to dance. Ninth grade, football games. Andrew and I were cheering. We used to tie our shoelaces together. Boy, did we make Mrs. Buzzdigan mad. Graduating. At the carnival, and I got to slam Mr. Slingsby's big face with a pie. Going to the bathroom, the kid just flushed the toilet, and the water just started running all over. And we just stood there, and we says, "Wow, look at that water!" And um, fortunately, we had custodians on the job that came to save our lives. Actually, and it wasn't for uh, Mr. Moffat. Thank you very much. We wouldn't. I wouldn't be standing right here. I would probably have like water all over my pants. My best memory was lunch. <laughs> I guess all the days that I missed with my friends out in school. Senior trip. Out of yet, it's graduation. Cruising around in Bill's big green station wagon. Probably all the times that I wasn't in high school. Yvette and Jen, I'm going to kill you guys. I will never forget when you both ate my apple pie. <laughs> Being in Florida, room 2450 rolls. I'd have to say being an anchor on the morning show. Saturn is playing on the Saturn volleyball team and winning, winning the district championship two years in a row that I played. Having Mr. Chikachi as a teacher. Having Mr. Chikachi. Yes. No, we'll never forget it. On the senior trip when Jeff Cheney walked out to the pool in my wingtips and Dave Speedo. I, I had a good time uh, making fun of Brian on the volleyball team. That's too tough. There's just too many of them. Being me. That was when I went up to receive the Sons of the American Revolutionary Citizenship Award.
Wow, here it is, June of 1993, and you're about to graduate. Seems as though we've been saying the class of 93 here and the class of 93 this and that for a long period of time, and now graduation is around the corner. These four years have passed quickly, watching you change from those silly ninth graders to the young adults you are today. I have so enjoyed being the, your advisor for these last four years. We spent a lot of time together, having lots of fun, doing lots of work, shedding a few tears, and sh sharing lots and lots of laughs. You're a super bunch of individuals, and I have enjoyed the opportunity of getting to know you very well. I wish for all of you lots of love, lots of success and happiness in your life. We do need to make this world a better place, and I feel that all of you will contribute to that, and the world will certainly be a better place because you're a part of it. I'll miss you.